Hello and welcome to another Barb Stamps video. In today's video, I am going to show you all about the new Eden's Garden uh, collection that Stampin' Up! is offering starting November 2nd, 2021. Um, the collection includes the Eden's Garden bundle, which is the stamp set and the set of dies. And you can purchase these things separately also, rather than just in the collection if you don't want everything in the collection. But the collection is the best way to go. And of course, when you buy bundles, you do save 10%. So we have the Eden's Garden stamp set, which is beautiful. And then we have the, oh, I can't remember what these are called. What are they called? The Eden dies. And it's a set of five dies that coordinates with the stamp set. And so we have this large kind of frame here, this leafy frame. And what I'm finding that I've noticed, I did a lot of swaps and a lot of the people were using this um, not in and of itself as a large die, but to use it as pieces so that you can tuck these little things behind other, other images and phrases and things like that, which I thought was a pretty cool idea. Um, we have this fun little frame. Uh, we have this little kind of label holder, which I find is really cute. And you can also just chop off these ends and just use these little pieces also, which is really neat. We have this really fun border die. You can sort of see that the border die has uh, stitching lines, which I love having stitching lines and things. And then the amazing detail on the sides there. And then the final die is just this little guy here that's kind of a leafy sprig is what I'm going to call it which I think is adorable and you can use it, you know, you can cut it out of all different colors, foil, the designer series paper, everything. So those are the set of dies and the stamp set. Uh, we also have in the collection, the beautiful garden gems. Now these things are amazing. Depending on where, the way you put them in the light, uh, they can be, these can be green or blue and these can be green or cherry cobbler. Um, it just depends on how you, uh, how they catch the light, which I find super cool. Uh, we also have the Eden's Ever Eden Specialty Designer Series paper that's also in the collection. There are six double-sided patterns in this uh, pack of paper and uh, one side of each piece has gold accents. So you can see the little leaves here, leaves and berries here, some kind of leafy sprig. There's just some little tiny gold dots in this pattern here. This one is totally full of gold, which is gorgeous. And then we have this one here. And then the back sides are some kind of neutral, interesting prints um, that I had been having a lot of fun with. Um, the other thing that comes in the collection is the cotton paper, the Ever Eden cotton paper. It comes in the um, Evening Evergreen and the Soft Succulent. And you might be thinking, what do I need that for? I don't know, but it's amazing and it's our Stampin' Up! colors. So I did want to kind of show you guys a fun little card that I threw together using this cotton paper because I thought it was going to be perfect for this. I made some 3D kind of cotton paper flowers. So isn't that fun? The card itself, super simple. I just punched out some of the uh, flowers from the cotton paper, added a few little leaves from the designer series paper, and then a sentiment here. So I used the flower builder punch to do that, which I think is amazing. And I'll show you how I did that really quickly. This video is going to be a lot of tips and tricks for you. Um, I folded the paper up and then I put a piece of uh, used copy paper. I always, I save my copy paper if I mess it up and I use it again. Anyway, I put a piece of copy paper in there so that when I punched out my flowers, I had something inside there to kind of be um, a barrier. I don't know, a barrier is not really the right word, but to help it uh, get the whole flower punched out. If you just try to do the cotton paper by itself, the paper is kind of flimsy and it will not punch very well. So you definitely want to add your piece of copy paper to the inside and then do it that way. And then you do, it is a little bit hard to get out, but I didn't care about the bottom of this layer anyway, because I was just going to take the flowers and make my fun card. So there is another tip that you can do with that amazing cotton paper. Here are some products that I recommend getting if you're going to be getting this collection of stuff. Um, obviously you want to get the gold foil sheets. Um, if you don't have gold foil sheets, but you do have our, um, metallic card stock. Uh, this does come in gold, bronze, and copper. So you do get gold in that. Or you could use our amazing gold shimmer vellum. I think that would be beautiful with this collection. 
Uh, some ribbons you might want to invest in if you don't already have them are the, what is this, the gold shimmer ribbon. And then this one is the a gold shimmer ribbon. Oh, they're both gold shimmer ribbon. That's great. Well, this is quarter inch. This is three eighths. This is a little more shiny um, than this one, but they both look fantastic with the suite or collection. We also have the Evening Evergreen and the Soft Succulent Weave Ribbon, Open Weave Ribbons that look great with this. I found that the Just Jade and Gold Ribbon also looks amazing with this collection. And then finally, Ribbons, Cherry Cobbler, because as you noticed when I showed you the gems, depending on how you rotate them in the light, they absolutely can be Cherry Cobbler. And so you'll want to make sure you have some cherry cobbler cardstock and then this really pretty cherry cobbler and gold ribbon. Okay. Uh, another embellishment you might want to get if you don't have it already is the metallic pearls, these little gold metallic pearls. Perfect with this collection. And finally, the gilded gems I thought was another thing that might you might find uh, very helpful um, in making the most of this collection. All right, I do have a few cards here. I have a lot, but I wanted to save some. I don't want to show all of my cards in this particular video because I might uh, want to make some cards and some videos for you. So this one here uses that fun little frame in two different colors. We've got the evening evergreen and the gold. And then of course you can see that long um, sentiment die. You can just use the corners of those, which is amazing. And you can see that the greenery die coordinates with this collection amazing, which I find fabulous. Here's another card where you can see we use some of the designer series paper to crop out that fun little um, flourishy piece. And then these little guys are just taken from this. So you can cut that up and use it as little sprigs also. And then there's some of those uh, gold pearls, makes for a perfect card. Here's another one. And all these cards use uh, different designer series paper from the collection. So we've got this gorgeous paper here. Here's that uh, sentiment die. Uh, of course, the gilded gems on that one. And then we have the border die also. Uh, this is one that uses the gold shimmer ribbon, one of them, along with the designer series paper, some of the stamped images in the set, along with the sentiment, and then, of course, that fun border die. This one here uses the fun stamp in the set and those cute little gems. You can see, you've got them on this card. They look green. That amazing ribbon, uh, some of the designer series paper, and then my final uh, swap card to show you is this one using uh, the other or that same gold shimmer ribbon and then that little sprig and of course that we've got the gold paper here the gems and the designer series paper so you can see that there is a ton of things that you can do with it the last thing i wanted to tell you about these gems is you can use these little um shaped gems here as petals to make a flower so you could take five of them and put them kind of in a circle and then put this in the middle and you would have a gorgeous floral uh, gem flower. Um, so that's something else that I intend to do. I haven't done it yet, but I wanted to share that with you as a nice tip. So I also, for the month of November, have my Eden's Garden online class that I am going to be offering in the month of November. And I've got, it's going to have nine amazing cards. All of my classes always have pictures, written instructions, and videos, because I know some things are hard to explain in the written word. So I always have a video for you. The whole shebang, or at least what I'm calling the whole shebang, is that whole collection of stuff, which I just showed you, the designer series paper, cotton paper, gems, and the bundle. That would be included in your whole shebang. You would also get the gold foil sheets, this gold shimmer ribbon, this one here, okay? And that would all be in the online class. And that is $116 shipped directly to you. If you just want the cardstock and supply kit, that's going to come with some garden gems, some of the gold shimmer ribbon, and some gold foil sheets. You're going to love that. That is $45 shipped to you with a pre-cut cardstock kit to make all the cards in the collection, in the class. And then the online only version is $20. If you have all these items and you just want to make some amazing cards, you can get that for $20. Uh, the link is in the description of this video for all of these items. And I would appreciate it very much if you would purchase them from me. Every time you make a purchase with me, whether it's an online class, a class to go, product from my online store, um, that helps me out as a small business owner and I appreciate it very much. Um, so while we're talking about that, if you wouldn't mind giving the video a thumbs up, subscribing to my channel right down here and then ringing that little notification bell so you'd be notified when I upload new videos, that also helps me out tremendously. All right, so let's get into the card that I'm making for this class and I will get the supplies for that. All right, so I have a 
four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of Evening Evergreen that I am going to use as my card base. So I'm going to fold that in half and give it a nice burnish. I've got a piece of very vanilla and this measures four and a quarter by three and three quarters. I've got a piece of this pattern of the designer series paper and this measures two by four and a quarter. I went ahead and ran a one inch by, I think it's about five inch piece of gold foil sheet through that uh, long border die that does have that fun stitching. I've got a four by five and a quarter inch piece of vanilla for the inside and then a three quarter inch strip to kind of jazz that up just a little bit. I've got a scrap of some soft succulent and then I have cut two of these banner pieces out of Evening Evergreen um, and we will be using those also. So uh, to kind of throw the card together, we're going to add this border die to the back of our piece of vanilla. I want to make sure that I am putting the glue along the four and a half, or excuse me, four and a quarter inch edge. Okay. And I'm going to bring in a silicone mat in case my glue squirts out. But I'm just going to add this to this piece so that some of the stitching shows. Because the stitching is amazing, why wouldn't you want it to show? Okay, and I'm going to set that aside and let that dry for just a second. While I go ahead and add my designer series paper, I'm going to go ahead and use some of my seal adhesive for this. Whoops, I just got seal all over. I think we can get that up. Even if we can't, it doesn't matter because we're not, uh, we're going to have that covered up. So we'll go ahead and add our designer series paper to the edge of the card. Looks like I might have cut that a little bit too long, which is totally fine. We're going to throw some liquid glue on this inside layer. Um, then we're going to add this little piece of designer series paper to the bottom here. Okay, and then I do have this a little bit long, but it's always better to have your things too long than too short because you can always cut them off. You can't always add paper. Okay, and we're going to open up the card and we're going to add this as an inside layer. Okay, got that. And I think that this is a little long also. Again, not a problem as we can just snip off that excess. And I can see just a hair sticking off the side of this. And I'm going to trim that off. Okay, so this should be done. I think that looks pretty good. And we're going to add this to the card with dimensionals, okay? So we're going to have this little layer kind of bumped up just a little bit, which is just going to give an interesting look to the card. And I don't want it to sag, so I'm going to add a couple of dimensionals to the center. Ah, oh, whoops. Okay, we're going to get all these off, and then we're going to trim it all off after we're after we get this on here. Okay, so I want it to be flush with the fold line here. And then, of course, on both sides. There we go. And then we can just open this up. And it looks like my layer is just a tiny bit too long. But that's not a problem. We'll just get that cut right off. And this little part, too. All right, so there we have that all finished. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, stamp the large floral image. We're going to stamp it in Evening Evergreen onto a scrap of uh, soft succulent. All right, so there we go. And then I'm just going to fussy cut this out. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video uh, so this doesn't take quite as long. All right, there we go with that. And then all we need to do is just kind of snip off these little pieces here because we're going to use them as edge pieces. And I'm going to end up putting my little arrangement about right here so I can go ahead and add these little layers to the back wherever I think they might look fantastic. Just want a little bit of them to show. These actually make such great accent pieces. I just love them. 
whoops, got a little bit carried away with my glue there. Okay, we're gonna let that dry while we uh, do our sentiment. All right, so I have a little sentiment that says, let's celebrate everything. So I'm gonna ink that up in some evening evergreen. And I'm going to try to stamp it on this little half inch strip here. Whoops, I'm gonna try to get it straight for one thing. That's pretty decent, but I need to raise it up just a hair. We'll just keep going till we get it right. We got a pretty long strip here. Okay, so we're going to snip that off. And then I'm going to come in and I'm just going to flag this end. So I want to snip some of that off. And then I can bring my snips in just like that to flag the end. There we go. Okay. And then we can bring our flower image back in. And we're going to add this with some dimensionals. What does I do with them? So I'm just going to add, like, I don't know, maybe three. And then I'm going to attach this to my card about like that. And then my little sentiment piece. Whoops, I need to move that over just a bit. So sometimes if you haven't actually stuck them down hard you can move your dimensionals and that's what I need to do here okay and then we're gonna just tuck this little guy in like that but we're gonna use dimensionals on it so I'm just gonna use a couple of minis all right and we're gonna slide that right in there like that I think I'm gonna raise it up just a hair Okay, then I'm going to bring in my gems, and I'm just going to add some gems now. So I've got a slightly larger gem that I'm going to stick up above my sentiment, and then a smaller one, and another small one right there. And so there we have it. Isn't that a cool card? So it stands up like that. It's beautiful. It's got all the amazing products. Well, not the cotton paper, but we already showed you it card with the cotton paper. So I hope you've enjoyed this card and uh, my little intro about uh, the different pieces and parts in this collection. And I would appreciate your business at shoppingwithbarb.com. And of course, my online class, all the links are in the description of this video. And the thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, all help me out a lot. I appreciate you guys watching my videos so much and I hope you have a fantastic day.